Do you think he'll ever remember to put him in his library book back in a book bag? We'll change him today. Well, why don't you send him a text to remind him? Let him take responsibility for once. Tell him what's happened. It's time to make friends. He'd love to go with you to the funeral. I mean, I don't mean he'd love it, but I, he'd want to come. I don't want him there. So lucky I'm going, vicious bint. She must have had some redeeming features. She produced you for a start. She'd have drowned me at birth if she could. Even the most amateur psychologist can see that you are struggling for a way to grieve. And if you're adamant that you don't want to tell Steve, then at least let us come with you. I ain't grieving for nothing or nobody. She got what were coming. Still, got a new lighter out of it, didn't I? So, one off, nothing. I've got my bus fare. Been going out my mind, do you? Looks like it. I have been up and down the street all morning, asking everyone. Steve, I'm not an idiot. You stood reading the sports page, and I heard you on toilet singing to the monkeys. How long have you been in? Where were you? I was at Roy Neely's. Why? I've had a bit of bad news, and I don't want to talk about it. I don't want any fuss. What bad news? And where are you going now? A woman that I used to know has died, so I'm going to a funeral. What, dressed like that? Well, it's a really classy affair. And by the way, it wasn't the monkeys, it was the Bee Gees. I'm not in mourning. I don't even want to go. Well, who was she then? She was part of the old crowd. She used to be a bit of a wino. That makes you feel any better. Any better? You could come with me, if you like. You could take me on your bike. Uh, uh, no, you're not right. It's not really my cup of tea. Anyway, you know, I've not got a tracksuit, so I'll probably look a bit out of place at the uh, wake. <laughs> I won't be awake. There's no point giving me them looks. You just said yourself you didn't want to go, so I'm damned if I do. Oh, and Amy got off to school okay, thanks for asking. <laughs> Hey up. Well, look who it is. Hiya. So? What? Where were you all night? And all day? I was at the cafe. I'm gonna have to put a collar on you. And could you not have put the green chip in Amy's book bag? Mrs Bunce had a right go at me. I was hoping Steve might have remembered. Well, they can't change the library book if it ain't in the bag. I know they can't, and I'm trying to stay on top of things. It wouldn't hurt for him to put his daughter first for a change, you know. Oh, his daughter now, is it? They told him he's safe. Saw him earlier, briefly. I'm going to go and see Amy. She's watching television. Uh, can I just borrow a light before you go? Yeah. She's new. My well, mum's. You been in touch with your mum? Yeah, I went to a funeral this afternoon. I'm going to go and see to Amy. What did you just say? Your mum's dead. As a doorknob. Nail. Knob. You haven't told Steve. <sighs> well, no. No, she won't be in heaven as such. But she'll be able to play table tennis where she's going. It's just going to be very hot. I'm sorry about what I said. It wasn't just your responsibility to make sure the book goes in the book bag. Oh, that's all right. And, uh... Oh, I'm sorry about the other thing as well. That's all right, too. I'm just glad it's all over with. I don't want any pity. When did it happen? A couple of days ago. How? Various failures, I don't know. Um, did the infection, something to do with the lungs. She just had it. Even the doctors are pleased to see the back of her by the sounds of things. Uh, where does she live? No fixed abode. So there was a decent turnout then? 
Me. Just me. Just you. Me and the vicar. We made small talk throughout. My sister used to be a dancer. Imagine having no one at your own funeral. Not no one. You were there, but just one mourner. And I wasn't even mourning. I was doing whatever the opposite of mourning is. Afternoon! Yeah. <laughs> I was celebrating, I suppose. Do you know, because in a really funny way, I feel free. Yeah? Mm -hmm. To do what? You could have told Steve, you know, despite your differences. We're on a break. No, you're not. You're not on a break. You're married. Your own mother dying is a massive, massive thing. Steve was really worried about you this morning, love. Really, really worried. Like I say, she was not to write home about. Life goes on. We still go back to see Mrs. Tredegar every year. The bosun says that he's getting too stiff to climb up and trim the masts and the funnels. And that Mrs. Tredegar doesn't seem to mind. And so, gradually, year by year, the trees are growing back into their old shape. They are becoming ordinary trees. And soon there will no longer be any way at all of knowing that they were once the green ship. Don't tell anybody, will you, why I'm crying. You're only a make-believe flaming ship. <laughs> My feet are killing me. Oh, well, you go on up. How do you rest? You've still not heard anything from him. Must be his turn to stop out all night then. Yeah, don't bother me. Something's got to give now. Seriously. Enough is enough. Night, love. Night, Liz. I was supposed to be at the opticians today. I had an appointment for an eye test. I know, it was on the fridge. I missed it. The phone. I'm sorry about your old mum, kid. I'm so sorry. Don't be, I'm not. Why did I have to find out from Roy Cropper about my own mother-in-law, who I've never met? Who you've barely mentioned since we've been together. She's gone now. She wasn't important. It's not important. Of course she's important. Of course it's important, you big... flump. Flump? My mum called him me this morning. I thought it was quite funny. I thought I could just sneak off. Make sure she got burnt proper. No one need know I ever had her. But the next thing I'm telling Ryan Ailey, I'm telling Liz, Amy. Amy? I'm telling anyone who will listen. Well, you weren't telling me. Do you know what, though? I, I didn't want your sympathy. 
I ain't trying very hard to get you to come with me today, I know, but I... You lied about it! If I'd known it was your mother! It doesn't feel like we're in this together anymore. That's the problem. Isn't it? Do you hate me? Do you hate me? Sometimes. Recently. I've hated you so much over the past few weeks. Really, really hated you. I wanted you with me today. I was too spiteful. I don't... I don't know. I... Well, I know I've been a moron. Yes, you have been a moron and worse. But... Hey, give me another shot. Maybe. If you'll give me another shot. You know, you don't have to be so pri... Why are you always so private? It's just... things I'd rather forget about, baby. Well, you got to try and be a bit more honest, though. You know, deaths in the family, etc. I can cope with all sorts of bulletins. Good news, bad news. I'm pregnant. I beg your pardon? Yeah, I am. I'm pregnant. Found out on New Year's Eve. Pregnant? Come, come with me. Let's go up to bed.